Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. My name is Rebecca and today you'll be joining me in my kitchen where together we will make some sweet treats. We'll be making some Guinness chocolate ice cream. So we'll be combining some chocolate with some heavy cream and other ingredients as well as a Guinness Irish Stout. That'll create a really unique chocolate Irish Stout ice cream that will be perfect for St. Patrick's Day or any time of year for a beer lover in your family. So follow along when we make some homemade Guinness chocolate ice cream. So first what we're going to do is prepare our ice cream base. So off to the side here I have one cup of chocolate chips in a bowl and on the stove top we're going to heat through our milk mixture. So to this saucepan we'll cook at about medium medium high heat. We'll add one cup of whole milk and a half cup of sugar. and an eighth teaspoon of salt. Now we'll just whisk these ingredients together and we'll heat this up. Next we'll work on some of the rest of the ingredients. And this is really more of a custard style ice cream. So this involves eggs. So what, we're, what we need is four egg yolks. I'm just separating the egg whites from the egg yolks and I'll save these egg whites and use these in a different recipe. So now I'll put these in the refrigerator and I'll whisk up these four egg yolks. So now we'll head back to the stove top and see how the milk mixture is heating through. Okay, so let's see how this milk mixture is doing. All the sugar feels dissolved here. It's at about 150 degrees. So we'll shut the heat off and we'll these chocolate chips here. What we're going to do is pour this warmed milk and sugar mixture into our whisked egg yolks and we're going to whisk continually while we do this. Now we're just going to return this egg and milk and sugar mixture back into our saucepan. We're going to cook this on medium heat until this thickens a little bit and becomes our custard. We'll know that it's there when we stir it and then it coats the back of the spoon. So we'll let this cook for a while. In the meantime, I'll bring the chocolate chips over and I'll add a little stainless steel mesh strainer on top. We'll be using that in just a moment. Okay, so I don't know if you can see here, but the color has changed and this has thickened a bit. And it leaves a nice coating on the back of the spoon. So now what we're going to do is pour this custard that we made here. We're gonna pour it through this mesh strainer into the chocolate chips that are in the bowl beneath. There we go. Now we'll just mix the chocolate chips in here so that they melt into this custard that we created. Nice and melted and has a nice shiny sheen to it. So now we can add the next few ingredients. Get my whisk again. 
and that is one cup of heavy cream. We're going to whisk that into our chocolate here. And three quarters of a cup of Irish stout and one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk that in here. We have a nice smooth liquid here. We're going to put this chocolate stout ice cream base we created into an ice bath. So I have a large bowl with a few cups of ice and I filled it with some cold water. And that'll just help this all cool down. Once the chocolate stout ice cream base becomes cool to touch, then we can put it into another dish and place it into the refrigerator until we're ready to create our ice cream in the ice cream maker. So now what we're going to do is pour our ice cream base into a little casserole dish. This has a cover on it, which works very nice for making ice cream bases. You can just create your base, put the cover on, and then stick it in the refrigerator. So I'll put this in the refrigerator for at least two hours up to overnight. So I'll put this in the refrigerator to chill for about two hours and then we'll come back for the next step which is putting this into the ice cream maker to create our ice cream. Okay so the chocolate Guinness stout ice cream base has been sitting in the refrigerator for at least two hours. So what I've done in my ice cream maker it has a little pull out pail and I put the ice cream base in there. This is an electric standalone ice cream maker. I can put a link in the description box for this particular model. I like this one because I don't have to pre-freeze any components in order to do a batch of ice cream. So really it's just making however many ice cream bases you want to make in a given day or time. And you can make a batch, put it in a container to go in the freezer and then make another batch and so on. So anyway, this one's ready to go. So now we'll put the lid on. It's a little arrow that says unlock and lock. So we'll just click it into lock. I'll press power and timer. The default is 60 minutes. You just press the timer button to change that. And that'll go down. This will take about 40 minutes. And I'll press start and this will begin to churn the ice cream and cool it. And it'll create a nice creamy and smooth ice cream for us. So I'll press start. Let the ice cream maker do its thing. All right guys, the chocolate Guinness ice cream is finished. The machine beeped a few times. Now it's blinking zero, zero. So we will remove the lid and we'll do a little taste to see if we like how, to see if we like the taste and if it's the consistency that we like. Ooh, that tastes good. Okay, so there you have it. Here we made some homemade Guinness chocolate ice cream. This is more of a custard style ice cream. So it's nice and thick and creamy and it has the chocolatey flavor with a little something different with the Guinness Irish Stout beer in it. This would be really fun to have as a dessert on St. Patrick's Day. It would go well with the corned beef and cabbage that we made together. You can check out that video. This would also go well with the Reuben Rotini. Or it could be a fun dessert for someone that you know that really likes beer. So if you enjoyed this video, you can check out other videos I have on homemade ice cream. I have a really classic and delicious vanilla ice cream, as well as other sweet treats that we did together. So you can check out my recipes and in the kitchen playlist to see if something sparks your interest and inspires you to try yourself. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.